Ma'am, you work at the Baby Doll Lounge? Yes, I do. And you uh, dance there? Yes, I do. Dancers at the Baby Doll Lounge uh, dance for customers? Yes. Uh, the customers have to pay uh, for drinks in order for the dancers to dance? Yes. If the customers don't pay, the dancers don't dance? Generally, yes. And the more your customers pay, the more money you make because you get a portion off of the purchase of each drink? Um, I believe so, yes. Well, well, you believe or you know you work there? Yes. Okay. So, so there's a, an incentive for you uh, to, to keep the customers happy so that they'll do well? Yes. And so that you'll make more money? Yes. So you take care of your children? Yes. Mr. Marinov was one of your customers at the Baby Doll Lounge? Yes, he was. You first met him in that club? Yes. And the Baby Doll Lounge is, is located here in Pelican Bay? Yes, it is. And some folks call it a nightclub? Yes, it could be a nightclub. It could be a nightclub. Some folks call it a lounge. Yes. And other people uh, might use words like a, a, a strip joint or a bar. Yeah, but I would say it was a bit more upscale than that. A bit more upscale than, than a nasty strip joint. Uh, yeah. Okay. And it's all on the up and up. You're getting paid. Yes, I, I do get money. You get money. And, uh, and you use that money to take care of your family. Yes, I do. Now, Mr. Marinov moved in next door to you. Yes, he did. And he was a convicted sex offender when he did that. I assume so. I didn't know that at the time. Well, he moves in next door to you? I didn't know that he was a convicted sex offender. I understand offender. that, man. Let's talk about that. He, you did know him from the Baby Doll Lounge. That's where I first met him. And in the Baby Doll Lounge, the type of dancing is not salsa dancing. No, it's not. It's, uh, it's more along the lines of a, of a provocative dance, a dance that's designed to make people uh, be interested physically in other folks. Um, these days, most dancers are. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, is, it, it is in truth uh, a little bit of a, a flirtation. There's, I would say there's always flirtation with dancing, yes. Well, well, they want the dancers to look good. Yes. They want to be hot. Yes. And they want the customers to be interested in them. Yes, they do. And Mr. Marinov was interested in you. Um, yeah, one, uh, I was one of the dancers he was quite interested in. Now, he's interested in you, but um, you have children. Yes, I have children. You've got four children at home. Yes, four at home. When you first met Mr. Marinov. And you've told us that you love those children and it's important that you take care of them. Yes, it is. Did you ask Mr. Marinoff if he had a criminal record? I don't ask all my neighbors their personal business. So we can agree then that you did not ask Mr. Marinoff if he has a criminal record? No, I did not. He was in your home? Yes. He was at your place of work? Yes. But you never asked him about his past? I never asked him whether he had a criminal record. He was around your children. Yes. He knew your children by sight. Because he's my neighbor, yes. Well, he was also your friend. Yeah, we were fr I wouldn't say friends, but I would definitely classify it as an acquaintance. Well, Mr. Marinoff would say that you guys had an intimate relationship from time to time. Would he be lying if he said that? <laughs> He'd be exaggerating, sir. He'd be exaggerating. Uh, so you're not saying that you weren't intimate with Mr. Marinoff? As intimate as the job required. Exactly. As intimate as the job required.